Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 5 on the PS5. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. And if you are, um, please do drop a like on it because it does help the series out a lot. It does help the algorithm. Also, I believe we should be getting a phone call from Lester here any moment. Let's just see if we get that phone call right now. Because he does call you at this point in the game. Also, I'll be showing you guys the... Um, uh, the the therapy sessions. So a lot of people they um, uh, a lot of people miss Michael's therapy sessions because I guess they don't they don't appear on the map unless you um, uh, they don't appear on the map unless you uh, you look for them. So this is what the therapy sessions are like. Shrink. That's yeah, a slang term for doctor. Okay, let's go see the therapist. Then maybe Lester will call us afterwards. Doctor Friedlander currently charges one thousand dollars for a therapy session. Return with more money? You gotta be kidding me. A thousand dollars for a single session? My god, what is wrong with this guy? Yeah, so Michael's therapist is a massive just scumbag. Um, okay, so Lester, I believe, will call us then and he'll uh, let us know about the, um, uh, the money from the ju jewelry store. Oh, there it is. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so... You can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that. So we got the money, 920000 And this was a text message from Martin. Finally, I have received your payment. The house will be soon restored to its former condition. I am pleased you are a man of your word. Martin Madrazzo. Okay. Let's go see Michael's um, greedy therapist then. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or... Now, see, this is where I completely others. disagree with the therapist it all on. It comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right, I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry, everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine, expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. 
Anything else you want to tell me? He's really not offering any good advice. Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Is he deranged? Um, just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. If you cheat We're on a man though with prostitutes, I think he says something different. Them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. Eichel is nowhere near a psychopath. It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. The therapist oh, talks the way, nice, but he's a scumbag. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. My god, this... And buddy, chin up, okay? This is, you see, this is the problem here, is just, this is, there's people like this uh, scumbag therapist in real life, like people that, that pull crap like this, exactly like this. And like, um, you know, if you want to be a therapist, like, you know, that type of thing, because, you know, they make good money, you know, that's fine, but that shouldn't be your first priority. Your first priority should be because you want to help people and you want to help them get better and deal with their problems. That should be your number one priority. If your number one priority is because you want to be a therapist because you want to make money, you're not a good person, at least in my opinion. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see. I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Yeah, well, she's not too happy about that. Um, let's go see Davey then, um, but, um, uh, what I was gonna say about what the therapist was talking about is, um, uh, you know, there are people, you know, um, uh, you know, just like this scumbag therapist that just care about money, and you can tell he offered Michael really no good advice. He just sits there, takes his money, just says a few nice words, and that's it. He never oh, gives yeah. him any actual, like, um, helpful advice. But, um, uh, what I'll say is, um, uh, what I'll say is, what I really didn't like is I really didn't like how he described evil, because he's like, there's no such thing as evil, it's just a social construct. I don't believe that at all. I believe that evil exists in this world. Um, I remember when I was in high school in philosophy, they also mentioned that. You know, this is like, you know, over 10 years ago at this point. But it's just, um, uh, you know, I studied law enforcement in school when I went to college, and like, I read about some of these cases and some of these horrible things these people have done. If you just, like, read about some of these criminals, like, some of these really, really bad criminals, just the horrible things they've done, showing no remorse whatsoever, you would, you would know what evil is. And, like, all, some of these really bad people, these dictators throughout history, it started world wars, you know, it's just, like, the idea that, 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 that evil is just a social construct, I don't believe that. Like, you know, you just, there are really, really evil people out there in the world. And you don't even have to, you don't even have to really be religious to, um, uh, you know, to, uh, to believe that evil exists. You know, I'm an agnostic myself, so I believe strongly that evil exists. There are evil people in this world, and I believe there's people that won't change. Because there's, there are some people out there that believe that every single person is, uh, is, has the capability to change. And I believe that to an extent, I believe that people deserve second chances, but I also know that there are some really, really bad people out there that no matter what, they will not change. Like, there's some really, really evil people that should just spend the rest of their lives in prison, and they will never change, no matter what. Um, so, uh, yeah, evil does exist. I just don't exist. I don't believe what the therapist says, that it's just a social construct. That's, for me, that's just nonsense. It's just, it's, it's BS, excuse my language. This cutscene now. Davey!
Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. And we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well... You've played dead before, haven't you? Yeah, that was very unexpected. But uh, Davey is a corrupt F FIB agent that um, helped Michael fake his death. And it made it seem like he had killed Michael Townley, but he didn't. Um, what we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let me uh, turn. I think I might have auto aim on. Yep, I do. Let's put on free aim. Take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. So if you Fresh don't actually wake different. up in time, there's actually the an alternate uh, fail cut scene that you can get. this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. So like um, uh, if you don't, if you wait about. long enough, there's you get the fail cut scene. When he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. Yeah, so that's the the fail cutscene that you get if you um uh if you uh, if you don't um uh, if you don't wake up in time. You can wait for them to finish the conversation, but uh, that's basically what you get. That. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male. Overweight. Also, John Doe. Um, uh, for people that don't know, that's a term that the police use. Um, basically means unknown male. Jane Doe is unknown female. So when they have a body and they don't know who it is, John Doe is to. Yeah. Back from the dead, motherfucker. Yeah, so John Doe means unknown male, and Jane Doe means unknown female. I know a lot of people hear that in movies, but they don't know what it means exactly. Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. 
Might be in the other room. That that guy's a really stupid um a cop. He done he didn't he did not even check the room fully. No. no. Come on. There's no place to hide in that room. How stupid <laughs> is he? That don't look right. Man, that guy that 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 cop was a moron. Guess you can't judge Where would you be able to hide in this room? Maybe even maybe one of those closets if they're big enough, but it's just I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help, but you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Ah. Damn. Okay. I'm just so used to enemies appearing on the radar because of online. In the, um, uh, the Doomsday Heist, uh, you co come in here, so a lot of people are used to that, used to this place from the Doomsday Heist, but it originally appeared in the single player. Yeah, so Michael's ability is basically like max pain stuff, here, it just slows down time. Losing a lot of health quickly too, yeah, but I'm playing on free aim, so there's always a challenge of that. What? Oh, that 12 gauge would have definitely gone through that door. There's no question about it. That's some uh, that that's some nonsense right there. That that didn't breach that door. We're on a... We're locked down. Gotta take the stairs. Michael, your weapons will be in a black trash bag at the, uh, in the evidence, a room on the top floor, okay? No one comes in or out. Trust me, I'm not interested in the truth. So, um, the... Ah. So the, the guy that Davey wants, um, uh, wants, uh, Michael to find out information about, I believe that he's, um, uh, he's Azerbaijani, um, which is, which is a country in, um, uh, used to be, the Azerbaijan used to be part of the Soviet Union capital, the city's Baku, I believe, um, The guy, um, uh, and, and the thing about him is that they, the F, FIB and the, um, uh, IAA, with their parodies off the CIA and the, uh, FBI, they think that he has, they think he has some kind of ties to terrorist organizations, but in reality, I believe he doesn't. He's just innocent. I'm trying to remember why they accused him of, of, of that, but, um, uh, I'm pretty sure that he's innocent. Shoot out the window and escape, Okay. Okay, now you see, this is nonsense right here. Um, this you see, it, you see this in movies all the time. Um, uh, you see this in movies where somebody will, like, um, uh, somebody will jump out of, like, a window, and they'll jump onto, like, you know, the garbage from, like, several floors up, you know, what, that's, that is the second floor, you know, maybe third floor, uh, but it's, uh, but the thing is, though, is that in, in the movies, whenever they jump down from that, the garbage is always light and something to cushion your fall. But in reality, you don't know what's in the garbage. You don't know. So you could jump, like, from the third floor, and the garbage could be filled with glass bottles that could shatter and just stab you a bunch of times. Or it could be filled with, like, metal. Something something really hard in the, in the garbage bags. You don't know what's in it. So that's that That always kind of makes, makes me cringe whenever I, like, watch a movie or a game, and they kind of just jump out of the window and just land on, like, a pile of garbage, and they land, like, it's, like, cushioned. It's, like, no. That doesn't happen. Um... Okay, let's try to get out of here now. Cops are a lot more aggressive in the single player than I remember. Um, 
Ooh. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, we need to talk. Quick. Meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, Elboro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Go to the oil derricks. Okay. So he's gonna tell Franklin about the situation with Trevor. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. So yeah, those were IAA, IAA agents that you killed, or CIA agents, um, uh, but... Yeah, th this is Michael's own fault because he got himself involved with corrupt um, FBI agents or FIB agents and, you know, then this stuff is going to happen. And what they're talking about is they're talking about stopping a potential terrorist attack, whether the CIA or the FBI finds it or the IAA, F FIB, how they're called in GTA, but we all know what they're a parody of. Um, but this is somewhat realistic because the FBI and the CIA do compete over funding from the federal government. That does happen. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. It just they don't have all the crazy action stuff go. like in this We're game, a but trip. a long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right. You remember I told you I know people. Vets who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. But yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief. You know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. It didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. The wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. Everything was cool. Problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the move? He is a bit right on that. I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Now I get accuracy headshots. Is this timer? I didn't, um, uh timer I didn't finish, but it was, um, it was whatever. The rain in this game looks really good still, um.
Let's look at Life Invader. Life Invader is down also here still. Still, but eventually it's gonna go back up. Um, I got 6,101 in it. I'm gonna put 100 grand into it. There we go. Okay. Listen, I know you're probably irritated. Um, uh, oh, let's see here. Listen, I know you're probably irritated by this, shall we say, favor I just asked of you. I wish I hadn't had to involve you, but my boss has been sniffing around some old cases. I know he had a deal, but this is just a new agreement. I wish it were different, but as I said, you broke out of my protection yourself when you started doing your thing again. I made clear that th that would be a problem. You ignored me. I will do my best to protect you as a valued friend of my firm, but you're going to have to play ball. I don't know uh, you or or what you're talking about. Is this spam? <laughs> okay, this is a random event. I think he's gonna kill her. Come on, quick! This way! She was screaming no! And he just kept hitting her! It's just over here! We got one! Go! Go get in there! Vago's ambush. Okay. Don't kill me, please! They made me do it! I didn't have no choice! Fuck! Fuck! Okay, that's fine then. But, um, you know, in that type of situation, it's very difficult to even prove whether the person was, was in on it or whether they were being forced um, to do it. But the thing is, though, is... Um, okay, here we go. Now, I think I know what this mission is going to be. I think this is going to be the worst mission in the game. Did somebody say yoga? What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No. Oh. No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes. She's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So this so is gonna that, this this mission is people say this is the worst mission in GTA Five. Life, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, my cousin. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and. And I think he's speaking French when he's some of the words he's saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody in the comments know? Um, I think that's French. Now, Michael. I think that means one, two, three. I don't know about this. Now, yoga is a really... I'm sorry, like, I, some people probably like it in this game, but I think it's a really boring activity. Like, it's just... I don't know what the purpose of it is in this game. Um, Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Let it out. If we put him on a six month kale only diet, he might just get healthy or die. <laughs> in the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Just exhale, Michael. 
Maybe there's hope for him. A small, tiny, minuscule, maybe. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. You feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. <laughs> you can't breathe, can't you? Out with the breath. Tight! Tighter! Ah. Ah. This is still pretty basic. I think I failed it there. Uh, yeah, they get 100%, you we have to... We are waiting to... for you, Mikhail. The silly man forgets to breathe. Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Breathe, Mikhail. Let it out, baby. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. No. Yeah, this, I, I really? remember this. This is, people don't like this mission a lot. There! Let it go! You can't breathe, can't you? Take a breath. Come on. Out through the mouth. Erect. Turgid. Hold it. Stroke it. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. You may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. A oh, worst time for the controller to die too, and on the worst mission. Everything is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? I hope there is time for yoga to save you. Your lungs, they work, yes? Breathe out, please. Your aura is just like, wow. Breathe, please, Michael. <sighs> Not bad. Take in the air and release it. Very good. Now let it go. My we God, I be about to witness I didn't realize that I, I forgot how out. many how many Breathing yoga poses this mission the has. Most important thing, no? You're sweaty, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through those wrinkled lips. No vanity. Come on. Oh. Maybe this is too much for the big ape. Prove you are not as pathetic as you look. Yeah, trying to get 100% in this mission, um... If you'd found yoga before, you wouldn't have been that way with Coach. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out, you're turning red. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Take in the air and release it. This is what I was talking about, can't you see how blocked he is? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it go. Lengthen. Strengthen. Breathe, please, Michael. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Take in the air and release it. <laughs> is this is Just some? I'm, exhale, I'm, I'll be honest, guys. I'm getting really <sighs> bored by this. 
You have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, 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 oh! Enough of that! Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good! You Fab are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Uh, Fabian did that on purpose. And that phony French fucking yogi! Duh. Jimmy, you still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, it's nice TV. Did I pay for that? Soldier. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. <laughs> They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. That's, um, uh, J Jimmy's like the average trash-talking Call of Duty player. <laughs> that game he plays, by the way, is a parody off of Call of Duty. So Righteous Slaughter. Friend? Burger shot? I should probably turn on the in-game music. I keep turning that off because I... I didn't want. I don't listen to the sound, the music yeah, in the nice game, but like the, 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 the original soundtrack, I do joints. listen to. Me and the guys, we go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times? I love you. I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. Hey, careful. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, what's man? up? What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? This guy's hey, so this creepy. It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? <laughs> now, Jimmy, Michael bro, can spot a uh, can spot a drug Come dealer on, do easy. This shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other. Thing? I like how Michael encourages his son to. Come on, my man, God. what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right. I can't right, believe he's encouraging his son on this. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. So, yeah, and, and it's just... A lot of it is Michael's fault for the way Jimmy's turned out, but also a lot of it is Jimmy's fault, and it's ridiculous how he blames Michael for everything. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. You actually see in first person when he drinks it. Now Jimmy's a moron because he, he's drugging Michael, but he gives it to him okay, when he's driving. Your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. Really, this is 
god, more. Hello? You're just paranoid. This is that paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. I gotta stop. Oh, who is in it? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucked your shit? You from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Get out of here! He's like, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. He just drugs his dad and just leaves him in the middle of the street just now. Like, what a terrible son. Oh my god, this is definitely the worst mission in the game. And then, this is this is where the mission gets even worse, like, now. Like, it's just... Like, look at this. Like, who came up with this? I know they're trying to show how boring Michael's life is and how annoying his family is, but, like, I mean, the yoga part, and now, like, this... this... with, like, the aliens... Like, who came up with this? This is just like... My god, this mission. I honestly feel like this is something from Saints Row at this point, because it's just... And uh, some people think the aliens were real. Um, I think Michael is an oh. I really gotta lower the music now because I'm gonna get a, so, so get a copyright claim for this. Oh well, you can't turn it off either way. What do you want, Michael? I always thought I was the good guy. The aliens, I think, were just a hallucination. That's all they were. Um, uh... Jimmy, you little shit. You know, let's get back to the house now, but yeah, the hell is just... I know some of you guys watching this is probably the first time you've seen this mission. Um, uh, I know a lot of you guys, mostly people, well, a lot of people play online and they haven't finished the um, single player. But I do think single player is, you know, worth, I do think it is worth finishing though. And, and like, like I said, I don't think the single player in this GTA game is as good as GTA 4. For instance, GTA 4 I think has the strongest one, but it's still enjoyable and has a lot of good moments in it. Um... This is just one mission that I kind of didn't like. It's kind of funny the first time, but like the second time you do it is kind of annoying. Um, Hi you, can I do this pitch or what? Hello! I'm back! Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck. What I wonder though is how, um. Yeah, so, um, mission time too on this, um, uh. 
yeah, that's 100% on this mission. But, like, I wonder, like, you know, how is Amanda gonna support herself? Because from this game, it doesn't seem like she's working any kind of job. It looks like Michael's paying for everything. So how are they gonna support themselves? They're probably in some hotel... Unless they took money from Michael's bank account, I mean, that's what Jimmy said, but his his money hasn't, um, uh, minus 3,000, that's all Jimmy took? Okay, I'm surprised, I thought he'd take way more than that. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, I guess we will, um, uh, uh, we'll leave it off here, guys. So thank you guys for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed that part, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.